Hello guys, welcome back once again. And in this video, we will be seeing out, uh, about the server config and server context interfaces. Uh, before moving into that, let me explain what are those interfaces. Okay, and I create the server, and my server needs an initial parameter because of something need to be initialized while the server is in work, so that I go for a tag called init param. So that I will configure my parameters inside the init param which is my server tag. So these initialization parameters will be accessed with the help of this interface called servlet config interface. And this initialization parameter is only accessible to the particular page with a particular server which I have configured. Whereas some parameters, some values need to be accessed throughout my application for every servlet or every basic server. So that I will configure those parameters inside the tag called uh, context param in my web.xml. Okay. Um, now let us move to the initial init param inside my server and how to access those things. And then we will see how to configure the context param. If we create an init param, uh, the param name as and the value of my param is and have I created a initialization param as my name and my value somewhere else which I stated in the uh, these parameters for my gen server which we already created in the previous video let us access those values in our service method <coughs> so fine mm. So that we have to create an interface, for, uh, we have to get the interface, use the interface server config. So we can create objects for interface, but we can get the reference for the server config interface from the interface name server, which is all defaultly got implemented in the Genesis server. So that get server config. By using this uh, server config, we can access those initialization parameters which is configured in the web.xml. Okay, if we create an thing, name, and see the get init parameter, and my parameter value is, sorry, name is my name. And this returns a string value which is stored in the variable called name. Now let me print it. Now let us execute this server. Run on server and the service method gets invoked. So this will display welcome somewhere. So that this um, value has been configured already in the web.xml. If I try to access this my name in some other server, it won't be access because this init param is only accessible for this particular server to access the same value to that uh, other server i need to configure again whereas this uh, i need to access a parameter throughout my application so that i will go for a tag called context param that can name as um, Channel name. The param value is now we will access all those context parameters using the interface name called server context. And we can get the reference for this server context from the server config interface. Have to achieve the get change context. Now I will access the context value. Okay. 
चेंज करेंगे और चेंज Now let us run this tablet. And this will access our in parameter as well as a contest call. Welcome to Miller Fair. This is from the initial parameter and this name is from a contest parameter. In this way, we can use our uh, in server context and server config interfaces uh, thank you just like and subscribe